Now you got these documents done, or whether they're Google Sheets, spreadsheets, or a presentation program, now you need to share. Well, stick around. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video. Hey, my name's Lamar Scholl. I'm coming at you from havingsuccessonline.com. All right, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to share your Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. And there's different privileges that you can give people that you share this link to. And what I mean is you can share, give it sharing rights. We send hand out. Let me try that back up. Woo. All right. Let's start all over with this. I'm not going to edit that out. I'm too lazy. Look, we can create a link where when you share it with somebody, you can give them rights just to view the document or make changes so let's say you're, you're in a little collaboration you got a couple people working on the same thing you can give people rights to edit that document right along with you all right now that i kind of fumbled through all that let's hope like the rest of this video goes a lot smoother all right let's go over to my computer right now so i pulled up a, a google document here nothing impressive it was just one i had laying around now, what I want to do right now, it's private, right? So only I can see this. Probably a good thing, right? <laughs> but what I want to do is show you how to share a Google Doc. And it's really, really simple. You come up here to the blue share button. And if you notice right now, we got a little lock symbol here. And what we're going to do, you're going to see that that's going to change later on. So when you click on the button, it brings you to a screen like this. So there's a couple ways you can share. If you know people's addresses, you can put them right in here, right? So you can control who you're sharing this document to. Another case is you might want to be able to hand out a link in an email or in a post somewhere. So you can also do that, and that would be down here in this lower portion. And it's very, very simple. But what I want to show you is if you want to come over, oh, I'm sorry, come down here before we hit copy link. You want to come down here, you might want to change some of those settings I was talking about earlier or trying to talk about earlier. So right now, anytime somebody has this link that's up here in green, they'll be able to view the document. That means they will not be able to make changes to your document. If you want people to that you're sharing the link with make changes to the document the same way you do, you have to upgrade them to editor here. Okay. Now when I share this link out, everybody that has this link will be able to make changes to the document just like me. Now I've used these two in the past, right? Just viewer and view and then just editor, right? I've never used commenter. But I would imagine they can't change the um, the document contents, but they can add their comments to it, right? And that's this one here. So let's go back to viewer because I don't want, say I'm sharing it now, I don't want people to make changes to it. So that's all set and that's by default anyway. So the next thing you have to do is just go here and do copy link like this. And I just click on the done button right here. And I'm going to show you in a minute. Now you see how, how that link will work. Now you see the status on this button show sharing, right? So before we had a lock. So let me go up here since I'm in Chrome. We'll run an incognito window. So I don't have privileges or rights to that document, even though it's mine. Or well, we do now that it's sharing. So I'm just going to paste that link right in there. And my document comes up. Now I can't make any changes here, right? It's I'm trying, I'm trying like crazy, but this is probably in most cases what you want, right? This is basically kind of like how a PDF works. I can, I can view it, I can read it, but I can't change it. Now what I wanna try to do here, if I don't mess this up, so you notice that I had the document there, right here. Let me just close this incognito window. So we're back to the document. Now let's say you're done sharing this document right you don't want to share it anymore well you come up to the same share button come in here and what you want to do is come down here to the link and you want to ch come here see where it says anyone with link can view this document you want to hit this drop down and click on restricted and click on done then click the done button all right now let me go back i'm going to open up an incognito window again like we did before and I'm going to paste that same link in here to that document like we did before 
and I hit enter and you can see now Google saying hey look bub you got to sign in right so you can see now I don't even I don't have permission to my own documents. So I'm going to close my incognito window. So this is how you how easy it is to share a document. All right. Now slides and sheets like here's um, some slides I did. Right. So you got this presentation here. It's the same thing. Instead of the button being blue, it happens to be orange. Right. So you come up and click on the orange share button, but it's going to be the same screen and you have the same settings, right? If you want to come in and change, right? You have the same exact settings. So this is the nice thing about it. So once you know how to do it in one, it's the same exact thing here. I'm not going to click on the done button here because I don't want to. Sh well, here we'll share. Yeah, sure. So we'll share away. And again, you see the status on the button change. Now, I didn't copy my link, so I won't be able to show you, but that's exactly how it works, right? So I'm gonna go in and just unshare this. So again, I'm just gonna click on my drop down, go back to restricted and click on done. And just for completeness, here's Google Sheets. I just happened to pick up a spreadsheet. So now we don't have a blue button or an orange button. We got a green button. All right. So again, it shows the lock and this is this very same thing. You can see how all this is starting to be very repetitive, which is good, right? So once you know one, you know the other. So now if I go in here, here would be my link. I'm going to copy my link to this spreadsheet. I'm going to click on my done button and you notice my green button, not the orange or the blue button, but the green button has changed to a status of share. I can open up an incognito window and I can go in here and enter that in. So now nobody can make changes to this, right? It looks like it's like a PDF kind of style, right? So we're going to close that window and we're back to the first one, right? I'm going to go back into my share. I'm just going to stop sharing. Click on change. We're going to click on anyone with a link, the link. So we're just going to change it back to restricted. I'm going to click on done. So I didn't really show you the edit mode, right? But just if you go in and change that status to edit, then anybody with that link will also be able to edit your document. Now, this is a great way for you marketers. If any of you marketers are watching this video right now, I want you to be thinking lead magnet, right? So you don't need to understand how to do a PDF. You don't need a website. You don't even need videos, but you can do 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 cool looking spreadsheets you can do cool looking presentations you can put some awesome looking google documents together and you but you need to do that but then you also need to remember to share that link and you can stop sharing that link at any time just like i showed you so just remember any of your google type documents that you're doing are public i mean private by default to make them public you have to go up and hit one of those beautiful colored share buttons so if you got some value from this video and i hope you did subscribe to my channel just hit that button down there for me below look also if you want to see other videos on marketing to help you with your business you know any of these click programs we got going on clickbank click magic um click funnels i got some older videos on that it seems like everybody likes the word click in their name but just drop a comment below if you want me to do a video like that look i just had too much tea today that's my excuse all right i'll see you on the next one